Now we're going to look at the solubility and we are going to look at two known substances. So on the left hand side I'm going to use a known liquid called xylene and it doesn't matter which one on the table that you look at. So there's a table in your lab manual that gives you the identity of several different compounds. So we're going to look at xylene and you want to compare this to the table to make sure you're observing what the table says you should. So for liquids, if it is insoluble, there are two distinct layers. So you'll see the water on the bottom, the xylene on top, and there are two distinct layers. If they are soluble, you do not see the transition between them. They just thoroughly mix. So our toluene and xylene are soluble. Our alcohol and xylene Although you see a little bit of waviness, that's a difference in density that you're seeing, but there is no distinct layers between them. And so we would be insoluble in water, soluble in toluene, soluble in alcohol. Now we're going to try a known solid. So this is naphthalene. We put naphthalene in water. You'll notice it's floating on the surface of the water. We add a little bit of naphthalene to the toluene and a little bit of naphthalene to the alcohol. And so for the solids, it sometimes takes a little bit of time and we need to stir it up. So for our water, you can see the white naphthalene still sitting in the bottom of the water. This is insoluble. If we look at the toluene, there is no crystals left in the toluene, so it, the naphthalene is soluble in toluene. And if we look at the alcohol, there's a few white crystals that are left in the bottom, but they're smaller than what we added, and so this is partially soluble in alcohol. You will be provided pictures for you to determine the solubility of your unknown. You can compare the solubilities to the table provided you in the lab manual.